Burt Reynolds on Monica Kaufman's Close-Ups tomorrow on Channel 2. Welcome to Love Connection, where old-fashioned romance meets modern-day technology. We can't promise you that you'll meet someone and get married next Tuesday. He's on a first date, he always brings flowers, wears a suit, and has a change of clothes in the trunk of his car. But leave Sunday open. Selected a date for her. She's originally from Missoula, Montana. She enjoys racquetball and practicing her surfing. Claims that she has a perfect way to turn down a date with a man, and she says that slow dancing is the last thing that she wants to do at a club. Did <laughs> you get close to somebody? No, I just don't like people I don't know touching me. Oh. Well, I had hoped by this time of the night to be with someone besides you. Well, you're not exactly my dream date either. <laughs> Are you looking for me? I'm looking for someone. Where can you be? Someone. Okay, early to bed, early to rise makes a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. Hi, <laughs> I'm Jana. I'm looking for. I'm not sure. My name is Ellen. Some people call me sexy. Others say I'm sensuous. You made a smart decision by joining Great Expectations. Now keep your positive momentum going. Make sure to keep your appointment for your photo and video. And set aside some time to read the Great Success Workbook in your new member kit. It's packed with step-by-step -step information that will help you make the best impression in your photos, on your video, and in your member profile. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. My name is Phil. Uh, most of my friends call me Big Phil. Hi, I'm Fred. Hi, my name's Mike, and if you're sitting there watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the fast-forward button, because I don't smoke and I don't like people who do smoke. Hi, Mom. <laughs> what is our problem? I mean, our mothers think we're cute. We're going to be talking on the program about sex, dating, and relationships, and we're... Hey, come on, you guys. <laughs> this is not the end of the program, okay? Save those for the end. Wouldn't it be great if there was some kind of magic potion that you could rub on somebody, make that person instantly attracted to you? The secret of this mysterious drop of oil is that it's similar to the natural fluids your skin had so much of when it was younger. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Trying to slow down the aging process. He thinks that men often make fools of themselves on a first date. How do you slow down the aging process? I'm sure we'd all like to know how you do that. <laughs> like spill pots of coffee on them, but not... Oh, that. I see. Yeah, I've done a few myself. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we know a little more about you. This is reality we're dealing with. Oh, Don, I'm your biggest fan. I watch you every week. Judy, you're talking to cardboard. Linda, I think it's time you made an appointment to have your attitude realigned. All right, Paul, I'm only going to ask you one more time. Where are the valuables? Where are the valuables? Where are the valuables? And I do consider myself a refined valley dude. You know, when I'm not using my doctor in pharmacy to troubleshoot a large healthcare computer system, I'm over at the gym pumping iron. It's so hard to find a decent woman who'll give me the time of day. You know, I've never been on a date before in a gym. I don't know anything about these machines. Or you. <laughs> I've never sweat so much on a first date before. To new situations. Sounds easy, doesn't it? So, one suggestion if you're not feeling that you want to get out of the house, take your hand, put it behind your back, and push yourself out the door. She's gonna be a dog. I just know it. I don't want to do this. Oh, come on. Ring the bell. You're about to meet someone new, and at worst, it'll take an hour of your time. Christians and Christianette to the Christian Dating Game. That show where you could very well find your prayer partner for life. Please welcome Jonathan Revolta. Wow! I give God 
<laughs> Go for it. All right, Bob. As a Christian, how far can you go physically before it becomes sin? We should flee from even the appearance of such evil. Therefore, I think we should avoid any compromising circumstances. Okay, bachelorette number three. Where do you draw the line? Golly, I don't know. Where do you draw the line? Ooh, I've made my choice. Candy Styles! send John to our West Coast rededication camp and Candy to our East Coast camp. Both will receive two solid weeks of biblical teaching on morals, priorities, and real love. This is ridiculous. I can't do this. I wonder if he noticed if I wasn't here. Come on now. You made a commitment. How bad can he be? Black jacket, blonde hair follicles. It must be London. Well, um, I met somebody on a game show. He thinks that most women seem to apply their makeup with a steam shovel. So there's Michael, he says that he has a big problem dealing with women's mood swings. Steve says that uh, his old job of selling waterbeds offered him a lot of opportunities to meet women. These songs really bring out the animal in some people. You also get great hits by Billy Ocean, James Taylor, the Commodores, and the Moody Blues. Jeans on with leather lace thing in the front and this oh. skin tight yellow sweatshirt. Oh. Just hugged every curve of her body. And she walks like Morticia, too. Did you notice that? Oh. <laughs> and just when the lunch was about to be served, a bird pooped on his hand. <laughs> I met a, uh, a man at a political rally. Our next item is this priceless, authentic replica of an ancient African fertility god. I see we have two people bidding for the same object. 95 going once, twice, sold. I think it's time we bid this place goodbye. What do you think? Let's go. So I encourage you to remember this. God has not changed his moral standards for this generation. Be a man of God. Be a woman of God. Save yourself for your marriage partner. You'll be glad you did. When Barbara and I want to feel peaceful and serene, we turn on our way. And when we feel lighthearted and sparkling, we turn on our gem light. And when we feel turned on to each other, <laughs> we turn on our lava light. Cast a spell with products by Lava Simplex. We've got emotion for every emotion. Um, I have two cats. And I don't know how to ride a horse. And my goal in life is to have my own religion. Someone that's clean. Be clean, you know? One who is charming, personable, doesn't smoke in my face. I am looking for a passionate yet permanent romance within the guidelines of safe dating practices. I'm looking for the goddess. Are you the goddess? Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. Clam chowder. Going into Disney World in Florida. And um, I happened to fall right in front of her and she tripped over me. I was studying jujitsu and learning how to dump men. I mean, physically dump them. Smashing my groin. No. 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 He thinks that his social life really picked up after he started growing his hair a little bit longer. She says that she can't stand men who are late, rude, stuck up, or dressed like a nerd. She also has problems with men who tend to lie a lot. And uh, his voice was a little gooberish at the beginning, but he said he has long hair. And I love guys with long hair. And uh, he didn't have long hair. In my book, he was bald. If somebody has a nice smile, I will melt. First, his eyes. Large breasts. Great fanny. I wish I could pick up men as easily as I picked up this extra weight. What do you mean? I thought you were losing weight on your new diet. I was. Unfortunately, I realized too late that the diet didn't include a cheesecake. You ate a cheesecake? I don't know. What I'm not looking for is uh, some big overgrown monster that's always thinking about food. Well, it's time to suck it in. I've tried fad diets, powders, pills. Still, my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. 
AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy, and there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. Let the AIDS plan teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try peanut butter AIDS. <gasps> That's incredible. Hey, she's looking at you. Well, actually, she's not looking at me. She's looking over me. Well, don't sell yourself so short. <laughs> that isn't funny. Oh, 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 oh. Don't give me none of that! I want a straight answer! Or the boy's gonna get it! Just like the girl did! She says that she's looking for a man with a warped sense of humor. And she claims that she uh, needed a sense of humor to get out of this painful day. I looked over and said, oh my God, I have to spend an evening with this man. He was short and he was bald. He had one of those bald heads that sweat. Why can't we find the person that we want? Maybe we're too picky. Maybe we have this fantasy person in our minds, a person that we manufactured in our dreams. But this is reality, remember. And in real life, Prince Charming and Sleeping Beauty don't exist. Fire-breathing dragons. Type A, I'm not comfortable, caring, and serious about a relationship, I am. I'm, I'm really looking for somebody I can feel special about, and I don't encounter people like that very often, and I'm hoping you're one of them. A figure that is sexy, slim, tight, excellent legs. Mm. I like to be with people who are, who are as fun and adventuresome as well. Is into having fun. Have fun. I enjoy having fun, yes. Looking for somebody who, has, who likes to have a lot of fun. I'm looking for someone to have fun with. I uh, love to have a good time, uh, able to have fun. Uh, fun and laughter. And anything that's fun, I like to have fun. And, uh, and have a lot of fun. For instance, at a party, mm -hmm. and we, if we see someone who is deserving of a compliment, we'll, we'll walk up and we'll say, you know, I'd like you to know you've been watched by a professional man watcher. We like to certify <laughs> you as being well worth watching because you're super smile or whatever you like. How do they usually respond, these men? Oh, they love it. You know, you're delightful. It's nice to have you on the show. My daughter watches your program every day religiously. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now she's three months pregnant. Hot pocket, hot. When you want a hot meal. Without a big deal. Hot pocket. Mmm. Ham and cheese. Pizza, please. Barbecue. It's for you. It's the inner, you know, hot dog. There he is. God. He's gorgeous. This one does not, I repeat, does not get away. He looks like a nice guy, and he's actually listening to what that person is saying to him. Hi, I'm Debbie. Hi, I'm, I'm Lonnie. Um, could you excuse me just for a moment, please? You know, I almost didn't make it to this party because I just flew from Hong Kong. And boy, are your arms tired, right? Where are you? She admits that she uses her magic tricks to meet men. And when magic doesn't work, she says that she pulls out her trusty 35 millimeter camera. First there was uh, Harlem. He claims that he dates five nights a week and he says that uh, he meets a lot of women in movie theaters. The first thing he notices about a woman is the way she dresses. Here's what happened when he told a date he didn't like the outfit she was wearing. She got a little upset. Avoids women who talk too much and who want to spend all his money. Most people think, you know, accountants are pretty boring. I mean, you sit at your desk all day long and uh, just crunch out numbers. But there's another side of me. <laughs> I like to uh, sing in the mirror. I like to dance. And uh, I'm a kind of crazy person, but I guess I do most of that behind closed doors. me on the street once and said, you know, I'm dying to meet you, but I don't have an opening line. I'm in love with you. That is like the worst line. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? You know, you look just like my ex-wife. Hey, can I have a picture of you or would you like to come over and live on my dresser? Hey, babe. Nice looking growth. I'm going to kiss you. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times men have approached me with these artificial and outlandish lines. 
I'll tell you right now, don't waste your time. Women are turned off by them. You look real familiar. Oh, hi, hi Melissa. Uh, haven't I seen you at Family Worship Center before? Yeah, I go every once in a while. I don't like a Casper milk toast, and that's what we call the guys that are have no backbone in the, whatever you want to do. And, you know, I'm here, I'm yours. After the first date, you know, they start talking about children, and you're thinking, I wouldn't even consummate the marriage with this guy. Trash. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Dad, where does Doug have a basket with eggs in it? Do you feel lonely tonight? Looking to meet new friends to talk with? Call 1-900-909-2222 and listen. Hi, I'm Lisa. I have I'm 6'1", dark hair, blue eyes. Morning, Chef. Hi. Hey, Dime's on distress hotline. I guess you'd call me a knight. And just sugar and spice and all those things that are nice. Do you like cats? Domestic violence? Because I really have a zany sense of humor. We probably don't like to clean the house. Uh, my mother still writes to me regularly. Because I average about four hours a night's sleep. I'd like to take someone up to the mountains with me. In my Jeep. I got a brand new Jeep. Welcome to the Ninja Vicky School of Flirting. I'm Ninja Vicky, and today you'll begin your long journey to attaining flirting perfection. No, there are no questions. Okay, women, let's begin with the basics. Look, look away. You, you're not looking, you're staring. And flip. And, no, not that far. Very nice. Good. Okay. And if you're feeling really bold, raise your skirt just a little towards the man you're interested in. But if another man starts leering, pull your skirt down. Another is the glass caress. Walk past the man and brush him. Look and smile. And men, what do you do? Amazing. No wonder you people are still single. The Kumate, the world's ultimate competition. The true story of a contest so deadly it must be held in total secrecy. Now, one American has come to this hidden location to win the toughest battle of hand-to-hand -hand full contact karate. Martial arts sensation Jean-Claude Van Damme fights to be world champion in blood sport rated R. You know how it is with us bachelors. It's obvious I need someone to cook for me. 100% sure I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Your dad may be right. I think we are spending too much time alone together. Doug, that can be dangerous. I can't believe her. I mean, everything was going just great. And then bam! You hit her? No, but I sure felt like it. It felt good to slap you in front of that prime time audience, yeah. She says that she'd like to marry a man who already has children, and she thinks that most men can't handle her. I like the real he-man, caveman with serious mus muscles. Do you really? Yeah, bodybuilders, the throw you up against the wall kind of guys. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. That's what I really want in my heart. Time when the women were women. The men were animals. And the animals were after them both. Caveman! I hate the guys that can't stop talking about themselves. And half of what they usually say you can't believe anyway. I hate women who lead the conversation into how much money you make. Somebody asked me, what in fact do you do? And I realized that I spent most of my time on the phone, and in order to make people think I was professional, I had to figure out what it was I did. Well, most guys have a hard time taking it past the superficial. Women want to see a sensitive side to the conversation, and then when you give it to them, they dump you for not being mocked. Bill describes himself as 172 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. The bimbos usually have nothing between their ears except pure helium. And, well, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you walk up, you say hello to him, and they go, Oh, my face! You know. <laughs> he says that he's uh, living out his dreams, and he doesn't believe that uh, most women are liberated. Well, how do you like the party? Um, does the smoke inhibit your osmosis? Would you like a drink? <laughs> well, don't just stay there on the table. Come on over here and mingle. Hey, okay, well, you know, I, I can see you're very comfortable talking to flowers. See this cute little vial here? 
It's crack, rock cocaine. A lot of people enjoy talking to me. And like I said, I can't talk. <laughs> Great form. And many women are very, very resentful. One of the most gripping. Do you have an affair with her? Chilling. I'm not going to be ignored. Romantic movies in years. <laughs> Michael Douglas. What if she didn't get it out of her system? What then? Glenn Close. <laughs> Fatal attraction. Now that may be a little too drastic. Tim's from Baltimore. He says that uh, life was meant to be fun and that's the way he lives and here's the kind of looks he prefers. I, I prefer uh, girls that look like my sisters. You... Hi, I'm Lonnie. Um, uh, excuse me for a second, would you please? When people keep uh, a, a kind of a distance on a first date, you know, because you're still getting to know each other. But holding hands and stuff is fun on the first date, but if he starts attacking me, that's uh, <laughs> a little out of line. No! 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 I'll have the goddess Diana sell. Four nine, a trendy. She probably read it was Lady Di's favorite. You know something funny? I know at least one thing funny. Oh, three point six for that one. He'll think I'm mocking him or making fun of his question. Are you that woman? Please give me a call. And you know that a journey always begins with the first step. And I hope that if you like what I'm trying to say or you'd like to know more about me, to please write. Good luck.